This is the second race as we kick off season three here in beautiful Bermuda. It's Canada controlling the pole position at the moment. The Australians with a dramatic Where move at 16 go? seconds. He finds a way in there. He's found a hole. Now he's pushing the pressure on the Danish crew. They must keep clear. Oh, there we go. Big noise from the Australian crew. They're all a little bit early here. Coming through the middle, it's Great Britain towards the bottom of the line again. Watch for the line to go wide. Wow. It's tight. Great Britain's timing was brilliant again. Spain at the top of the line. Can the Spanish get the speed from up at this end of the line? Nine boats up and sailing here in race number two season three underway in Bermuda and Great Britain once again out in front Canada close behind Phil Robertson Canadian crew looking great position here is the Spanish they're looking to find space on the other side of the course ah, the big side from Ainsley look at the speed drop as he tries to squeeze 30 kilometers an hour fallen off the foils maybe a mistake by the British crew here Big game from the Canadian crew. It was a bad choice by the British crew. Look, they're back in here, only 50 metres apart. Good jive by the British. They're now back in control of things, but that was a mistake by the British and Robertson's pounce. He's off the foils on the British boat. This is an opportunity for Canada. Can he go round the outside, stay on the foils? This could be a big moment for this fledgling Canadian crew. Ainsley's got to keep clear. He's got to keep clear. You hear? Phil Robertson protested Ben Ainsley three times. Let's see what the umpires have got to say about that. No penalty assessed on Great Britain. Georgia Lewin there, tactician on the back. Phil Robertson in training has been calling her Speedy G. 49er FX European bronze medalist, but she's a Canadian and she's really doing a good job tactically. You can hear Phil Robertson saying, I'm super happy being fast. That's because he's in the lead and he is trying to use his boat speed as we see the Canadians in shot there and push over the top of the rest of the fleet and effectively shut down the race course options for everyone behind him. Well, we are listening to Canada all the way up here, and we can hear Chris, Chris Draper absolutely screaming at Phil Robertson to press. He wants him to push the boat and accelerate to give more power to the boat. But right now, the only thing bouncing around Bermuda is Canada, as they have gone to a top speed of over 68 kilometers an hour. So Canada gets the victory in race number two. Phil Robertson brings it across the line. France bounces back from ninth to second in race two.